What's happening, KJ Mob? It's your girl Kaylee J back in the cuss once again with another video. Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'm back. As y'all can see, I did shave my head, but we'll get into that, okay? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I know I took off a month. Thanks a lot, Earring. Thanks for your demonstration. Anyways, I took off a month and I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things and YouTube and all that. So as y'all may see by the title, but before I talk about the title, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to get into all the nitty gritty, everything. Okay. This is a life update. All right. So yes, by the title, it's a life update. Yeah, I gotta grab y'all a little drink with me if you 21 and up, because I don't condone underage drinking. So let's get to it. Yes, I know this is a lot, but I hope I'll be a little tipsy after this video, okay? Make sure you subscribe, watch my videos, because if you count how many times I took a sip of this and I'm tipsy, I might give you a prize, but only if you support me. You don't support me? I'm sorry. But anyways, let's get into it. My life update. So first things first, I'm going to start off with my shaved head. All right. So I shaved my head like a month ago. No, almost two months. I think I think it's actually been a minute, almost two months. And I say it's really refreshing. It's just, it just gives me so much like confidence and it just gives me so much peace. I don't know. It's something about a shaved head. Like it changed me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like, uh, I feel so free. This wasn't healthy. So anyways, that's why I shaved my head and it's like, y'all don't understand. Like it's really energy and stuff in your head. I shaved my head and wrapped it up because you don't know people could wish bad on you let's let's talk about the witchcraft okay <laughs> let's get deep for a second i need to take a sip for this one all right so what happened was i i have someone that was doing witchcraft on me i'm not gonna say who none of that but let's just talk about the witchcraft. This is why I've been like so private with my life. I'm very protective of my energy now. I'm vibrating on a higher frequency. And no, I'm not judgmental. I'm not that Christian that'd be like, oh my God, you still do this, you still do that. No, like, I'm not that type of person. I do not judge. I do not, you know, make fun of people, judge people, none of that. Like we all, technically I live in the same life we all been through the struggle before so who am I to make fun of somebody else struggling and like we're all in the same boat you know what I'm saying but yeah someone has been doing witchcraft on me and how you know someone does does witchcraft on you is you know if you suffer from depression and anxiety it's like times that like you might have suicidal thoughts you might have like you just are rude like your energy like say you're a bubbly happy person and your energy just shifts you're just like i don't care for shit no more i don't want to do this no more i don't care like ugh. like it, it just feels like you're stuck but um that's why i've been getting closer to god i know a lot of people don't believe in God and that's okay. I'm not going to force you, but don't disrespect my beliefs. I, I don't give a fuck what y'all believe. I'm worried about myself. That's what's y'all problem now. Y'all too worried about other people. I just mind my business now. I know in the past, like I had a lot of problems with people. I, I spoke on, I just spared, I spared a lot of people this year. And I feel like I didn't set a lot of boundaries with people. I felt like I was the one that always, you know, try to be a people pleaser. Try to be like, oh, like, I want people to be happy this year. It's my, 
this year taught me to be selfish so i'm being more selfish with my time my energy especially my energy and my time like i don't i don't care to party like that no more like i'm i'm all about making my money if it if it's gonna make me lose money fuck it i'm gonna take these earrings out so anyways if it's gonna make me lose money I don't want to participate in it unless we just having fun then okay like if i ain't have fun in man i'm like okay you know let's do like a self-care day you know i'll turn up in a bar you know I'll, I'll give me some food we could turn up we could have fun but bitch i'm not gonna do that every weekend been there did that like <laughs> like i'm not gonna keep losing money every weekend i lost hundreds probably thousands of dollars going out to the fucking club and y'all want to sit up here and call me a broke bitch i'll be a broke bitch because half you hoes that be saying i'm broke probably won't even pay my way in the fucking club probably won't even buy me a fucking drink probably won't buy me a fucking food Ooh. i've always been that friend bitch you hungry if i got it i got it don't think i got it like that but i got you like that that was a facebook meme okay <laughs> but no like i'm broke the last time i checked you hoes not paying my way in the clubs. You hoes not getting me free drinks from niggas. Like, I mean, let's be fucking real. <laughs> Half of you bitches probably don't even have bank accounts. Talk about somebody broke. Like, I would not ever call none of my friends broke if we fall out. Like, yeah, bitch, I did all this for you. Throw it in the face. Like, you hoes don't know how to be friends. That's not real friends. Like, be fucking for real. Oh, I was a real friend because I did one good thing for you. Oh, wow. But y'all never mentioned how I was there when y'all was venting. Y'all ain't had nobody else. Y'all never mentioned to do stuff together and I always come through for your ass or I'll find a way. I'll help you with a fucking ride. Like shit back then. If y'all were, y'all want to go there, we can go all the way back to when we was 12 years fucking old. Time arguing with you bitches. It's not going to click. I'm going to just delete your ass and you can walk around with any diabolical story you want. Delusional. Bitch. Okay. You can walk around with your delusional ass story because I'm done saving you hoes. I ain't no fucking superhero, bitch. I ain't got no cape on. I'm, I'm done saving you hoes. But anyways, I just had to get that off my chest. It feels good. It feels good. I ain't got to throw shade at nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. From how I've been treated, you hoes don't deserve me as a friend. Like, fuck y'all. For real. Y'all always get offended at shit because it's true. Y'all always get triggered. Oh, you're coming for me. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're guilty, bitch. That's what it is. It's okay. You could be a guilty ass bitch by yourself. Because <laughs> anything somebody posts, I don't give a fuck about. Until they mention my name, it's none of my business. Even if it's about me, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Put a name on it, bitch. At me, at me, at me. Put a name on it. I don't be coming for you, bitches but i am gonna speak my mind because <laughs> it's my platform it's my social media y'all speak your mind i'm gonna speak mine and that's cool but anyways so back to the update got carried away a little bit but um so i am I was dating for a little bit but it didn't work out and like it's this one guy that I really liked but he just didn't fit the criteria okay he didn't fit my standards he didn't fit you know like all the categories like his looks and everything his hygiene everything was up to par you know he was cute but I pray he don't ever watch this but like he had three kids and two baby mamas and I just I just couldn't I just couldn't you know what I'm saying like I just couldn't and it don't take you serious these days and it's weird because ain't nobody got time <laughs> ain't nobody got time for this <laughs> but um so I just been focusing on myself guys um just trying to get my money up get my life together you know because i want to be put in a position to bless others people that bless me that been through been there with me through my lowest but um also 
I don't really have no family drama thank god I just love family from a distance you know I really don't care to be around anybody for real this may sound harsh but it's the truth like ever since my dad passed away his side of the family just been dead to me if that makes sense like I I've tried you know to like have a good relationship with that side of the family like we grew up close like now we're not close as adults and it is what it is you know i just wish them all blessings in life and you know my mom's side we cool you know but like it's still some people that i keep my distance from so i mean it is what it is you know what i'm saying i mean that's life Family ain't family, and when we were younger, when we was younger, everything was good. But, like, as we get older, like, people change. They start to act funny, like, you know, and that's okay, you know. We're not meant to be in the same room. We're on different paths, and that's fine, you know what I'm saying? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my life update. Um... I'll probably do another one like two, three months. And yeah, this, everybody was like, this was a shitty year. This wasn't a shitty year for me. It was like really, I feel like every year is a lesson for me. And this is the first year that it's going to really end off good. I'm not going to end off sad. I'm not going to end, end off hopeless. You know, I'm very grateful. Like I needed this year, you know, to regroup, rethink and i love it everybody's year was shitty but i feel like this was actually not a bad year like all the people all the negative people have been removed from my life and there's and there's still a lot of people getting removed so 2024 is gonna be a peaceful year for me no drama and i love it like not everybody should experience your good energy and i know i have a lot of it so whether it looks whatever it looks like to you on social media i never gave a fuck i never gave a fuck but um i took a trip you know i went out of town actually out of the country too out of town out of the country it's been a great year 2024 we manifesting it. it's coming out my lips it's gonna be a great year for you and if it's not you're gonna make it a great year I love you guys. Blessings. Christmas is coming up. So I don't know if I want to do a Christmas vlog or do anything. I don't want to do um, vlogmas or nothing. Mm -mm. I I'm so over that. But um, I just if I don't say it in December, I'm going to say it now. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. A Happy New Year. More blessings on life to you guys. I love you guys. I love people who support me. And bye. It's either what? KJ Mob or what? No Mob. Period.